Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien here on the morning of Sunday, April 16, 2023. Getting back to the swing of things after spending some time at the local hospitals I see you. Boy, that's freezing in there, by the way. <laughs> But it was a good hospital. I mean, uh, I can't complain about their ICU there. Their nurses are top-notch. Uh, and I got the best care I've had in a hospital for a very long time at Delon Hospital here in Florida. But uh, hmm. today's comment is on those Republicans, Democrats, CNN, and Fox. And the Illegal immigrants. And you see the Republicans with their stupid comment every time, we got to secure our border. Uh, and the Democrats saying, hey, everybody's welcome. Uh, really? And none of them, CNN, Fox, the government, or the two parties, Republicans and Democrats, have been honest with the illegal aliens and with the citizenship of the United States. And I mean honest. I haven't seen the president of the United States, whether he was Biden or whoever he may be, get up there and says, my fellow Americans and illegal aliens that are here in the States and those that want to come in, I got some bad news for you. We have to close our borders for three years, maybe four. If you have a visa, it's still good. But for any new immigrant coming in, we won't accept you because we can't. Not until we do our house and get our house in order. And what I mean about getting our house in order is we got serious problems with our political system. We have serious problems with our economic system. We have serious problems with our medical system. We got serious problems with our social system. And we got serious problems with the people that are supposed to be governing our system. Okay? I haven't heard a president of the United States or any supposedly leader of your government say this. And you have to. And you have to close that border. In this part, I agree to Republicans. You must close that border for at least 36 to 48 months, at least. And then you have to take into account of how many illegal aliens you have here. Instead of saying, we're going to throw you out, you're going to have to find a system to give them a card to know that they're illegal aliens. And if they're illegal aliens... Say, okay, just because you're here now, we'll give you the right to work, and you'll have to have deductions from your paycheck. you still have to visit us once or twice a month over here at ICE to check in. You'll have to do something like that. But you have to get this in order because you have to find out who's there and who is part of the cartel, who's just here illegally that wants to be here it wants to be a part of your system. If they don't want to be a part of your system, then you got to deal with them, but you just don't throw them out immediately. You have to deal with them and say, okay, we got to talk to your respective governments. And here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to put you back in your government. We're going to make sure that the government over there helps you with whatever they have. And if we find an opening here, that you satisfy and can attest to our system and can live comfortably in our system, we'll probably keep you. But that's the, your thing. And that takes a long time and a lot of effort from both the immigrant and the government. But your governments are so fractured, your federal government, that you don't talk to your states and your states don't talk to you. Oh, we don't want this immigrant here. Uh, we don't want this guy over there. We don't want this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But you are like the Russians here, Americans. You have a system that needs people working who don't want to work, that don't want to do the job. Why do you think that the Russians are taking the uh, Ukrainians illegally over to the east part? Because they don't have the population to do the jobs that they need to keep their system, economic and social system, going. They need people to work, and they don't have it, either because they don't want to or they don't have the population. Here in the United States, it's more that you don't want to do this stuff. Okay? Until you decide this, and you have to decide both. Economic, social, federal, state, uh, governing, how to handle this uh, illegal alien mess and take this 11 to 20 million people that are here illegally the ones that belong to Selenor and the rest of the cartels, you throw them out or put them down on Guantanamo, whichever one you want to do, because they don't deserve to be here. They're causing a lot of deaths. But the people that are here and want to work, no matter what the menial job is, give them a chance and help them integrate in your system. Don't put them into like the enclaves and say, okay, you can go to the barrio and be with your own people. You want to be here in America? You're going to become an American. Your children are going to become Americans. Sure, their ancestry is going to be that country, but they are here. And you don't send money home. You are here. You want to be part of the system. That's why I'm here. You don't see me going out there and waving my Panamanian flag or saying, oh yeah, I know, I am a United States resident alien. I have all the rights except for voting. So I consider myself adopted American second class citizen, which is what I am, a second class citizen. And you know that? And you okay with that? Because you're never going to be a first class. You're not a native born. If I had children, they would be first class. So everybody that's here illegally and that's here as an immigrant, you're always going to be second class citizens because you were born here. You're never going to be first class, okay? And that is not good. That is not bad. It's just the way it is. No matter if you go to a planetary system, if you went to my home in Terria, you would always be second-class Terrians because you're Terrans, not Terrians. See what I mean? It's always going to be that. But if you are treated like an Terrian, then you got it made. And that's the way we try to make our people that are there that are not native-born Terrians. And that's what makes our civilization better than yours. We can get them the system to work for them, and they to work for the system. You do that, you're light years ahead of you, your society that you are now. This is your favorite alien saying, you're going to put this in file 13 again. But anyway, this is your favorite alien. Good day.